Hi everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to my channel. Two Miners has just added two Casper pools, one for where everyone joins in the pool mining and solo mining, and Zalcor has just added Casper to their wallet. So let's go take a look. I'm currently mining Casper to nice hash. I have a AMD rig and that sort of floats around uh, six, seven dollars a day. And I have a NVIDIA rig and that floats around $3 a day. The AMD rig has mostly 6600s, 6800s and 6900s in it. And that's pumping out 4 giga hash. And my NVIDIA rig has a pair of 3090s. And it's pumping out around 1.64 giga hash. I don't like using lots of core wallets. Uh, that's just lots of bits of software for you to maintain and any one of them could have a security vulnerability. So I was pretty excited when I saw Zalcor came out with Casper support. So let me grab my Casper wallet address and we'll add that into Minostat and then we'll set up mining to it. Back in Minostat, we'll add the Casper wallet so we can mine to it. Call this one Zalcor Casper. And I'm gonna guess we don't need the bit that says Casper colon to the beginning. All right, so that one's added and it's happy with it. I would like to try solar mining Casper. So I'm in the two miners solar mining page and I'm going to use this quick start guide and it's giving me a link. So I'm just going to be GPU mining. I'm not purchasing uh, power from NiceHash. So let me copy this address here and I'm going to add that in as a pull into miners stat as well. So we'll call this one two miners Casper maybe we'll call it solo and we'll add that pool address cool that's all done now i've got that set up i'm going to come across to my workers and i've currently got them just running profit switching but uh, i'm going to change them into non-profit switching just do uh, manual mining for the moment all right we'll go into the little config so we'll just do rig 2 first of all uh, i'm going to use my pre-created clock tune profile so my rig 2 for core sensitive algorithms we'll turn off profit switching now all right now we'll configure the client settings okay because it was already mining casper before it's already got the settings here i tend to just use advanced and just put in the command line options rather than using the simple one so uh just saying mine algorithm and where it's to go to so i've got to change this from nice hash to using the two miners uh casper solo pool and I'll change from using the my nice hash wallet to the Zelcor one. I uh, shouldn't have to change anything else. All right, let's save that off and it should switch over now. And uh, let's go change my NVIDIA one while I'm here. So I'll go back to workers. I, I'm, I can see rig two is uh, changing over now. We'll go into rig one, my NVIDIA rig. Go into config settings there. Once again, we're gonna use my core based uh, overclock settings. I'll turn off profit switching and because it's already been mining Casper via NiceHash, it's already got the command line algorithm for, I, I like to use LOL miner. So I just got to change the pool from NiceHash to two minus Casper solo pool. Change my wallet across to my Zelcor one and click save okay now we just got to wait five minutes and check that everything shows up at two miners i'm getting an invalid address when mining at the moment so let's just go back and check that again when i copied my address before i just took this qqf bit because that's how most wallets look like but this one actually starts with casper colon so let's try updating my wallet address to include that all right so back to wallets there's my zell called casper one so i'll add the casper colon in front of it and save that okay if i check the work it'll probably be, it's reinitializing them both right now okay i'm just watching it uh, manually start the mining and it's just receiving new jobs from the casper pool no errors so far so i think that's a good sign it must be happy having the address begin with casper colon and the background i can see things starting to go green and saying online so it looks like that's now started mining correctly if we go over to the two miner interface now you just put your wallet address in and search um, now i've left this running for a couple of hours now to stabilize out and uh, I noticed that the hash rate it reports has some wild swings in it like here I've gotten up to seven almost 7.8 giga hash and then here it's reporting a low of 2.7 which compared to what's being reported on the minus side of four 
and 1.6. I should be getting or averaging around 5.6. Is uh, quite a wild uh, fluctuation from here. So uh, just I guess just keep that in mind that when you look at the two miners numbers, they look like they're going to be up and down all over the place. Hope you found that useful. I'm hoping to do a follow-up video in maybe a week once I've hit my first Casper solo block. I'm going to leave some other videos that you might find of interest around my head. And thanks for watching.